Good Sunday morning, everybody. Welcome back. This is me drawing every day for a year. This is week number 26. Let's get into it. This first spread on week 26, I was kind of stymied, like, what, I'm, what, what will I draw? And I had no idea, so I just started scribbling all over the page. And then I um, reverted to one of the themes that, that I liked drawing a lot as a kid, which was a horse. So I drew a colt in my fountain pen, and then I transferred the next drawing into um, an adult horse in colored ballpoint pen. I think that turned out quite well. This next spread really, uh, I was thinking about why I like sketching on the subway so much. Um, these are subway sketches of people. Uh, a few factors. One, I, I love drawing people. I love drawing portraits and you have this wide array of people on the subway. Each person is a story and I wish I knew every story um, uh, behind those faces. Anyways, it's a practice for me, uh, but also it allows me to confront um, my introvertedness, my shyness. I hate being the center of attention. And when you're on a subway, especially, you're crammed into a very small space with other people. And when people catch on that you're sketching somebody on that train, eyes just dart towards me. And it makes me uneasy, but it allows me to confront that feeling. So um, that's the other reason why I like doing it. And the third reason I think is that I tend to be very anal about my drawings. Um, so the subway ride imposes a, a, a time restriction, um, either my time restriction, I have to get off in five stops, or more specifically, the person I'm sketching. I don't know when they're going to get off, so I have to get them down on paper as quick as I can. So it just sort of omits a lot of the noise, the, the small detail work that I like doing, but it just omits that and it allows me, or makes me practice getting down the vital parts of the subject onto paper. The next drawing is a self-portrait. Um, if you've seen my previous videos, you've often heard me saying, when I'm stuck, I usually do a self-portrait, and that happened that night. Um, I liked the scale of this drawing. I liked that I got my entire body within the spread. Um, and I think for me, the best part of this entire drawing is the hand holding the sketchbook. Again, it goes back to the idea of being very minimal with it, a bit of line work, a bit of outline, that's it. That's, that's the hand. And I think it, it's conveyed quite well there. The next spread, ta-da, is another self-portrait, this time a bit more detail in the face, a bit more um, uh, detail in the shirt with the shadow work. But again, I go back to this hand that's holding the sketchbook. Again, it's my favorite part of this drawing um, because it's minimal. It, it, it conveys the idea with so few lines. I like that. And guess what? another self-portrait the next evening. I was having a bit of fun now, getting used to the idea of um, sketching myself, not as a easy fix to get my drawing in for that day, but it allowed me to have a bit of fun, dress up a bit, but also try to understand my face a bit better, my body a bit better, how my proportions work in a drawing, and trying to get my entire body into this one spread. Again, instead of this hand holding the sketchbook, I really love this hand that's holding the pen. That's the favorite part of my drawing right there. Also, uh, this particular night, June 29th, it was day one of pink eye. Whoever has had pink eye know it's a pain in the ass. And uh, I was like, where did I get it? And I figured I probably touched um, a pole on a bus or subway that had that virus and then I touched my eyes and it ugh. anyways I'm better now if you want to see a full colored self-portrait of me with pink eye I'm going to link it down in the Instagram or uh, in the description box below to my Instagram account and you can see a full oil painting of me a f uh, oil sketch of me 
boom, the next self-portrait night. I was having a lot of fun with these self-portraits. It um, occurs to me that these self-portraits, more than anything else, are kind of journal entries, visual journal entries of my life at a sp uh, specific point in time. And my pink eye still was happening that night, but it transferred on to my next eye. So I had pink eye in both eyes, uh, very irritating. I got some eye drops that day, I think. And um, looking at this drawing now, guess which part of this drawing is my favorite part. Yeah, you guessed it, this hand. Again, it goes back to the idea of using minimal line work to describe something that is so nuanced and intricate. I think I nailed it there, if I do say so myself. And then the last drawing, again, I was, again, in this groove of doing self-portraits, and I love, I love this one. Of all the four self-portraits in this past week, in this particular week, this is my favorite. It kind of, uh, all the bits and pieces of information I picked up over the last three days of sketching myself got in here. It, it my fit like this portrait um is the closest in resemblance to myself i still had pink eye at that point um the hand work how i drew my hands to me lovely like it just it it shows all the detail of the hands but not overly detailed and i like how i shaded my legs and i like how i drew my crocs it just i think this so far in this sketchbook, perhaps, is the best drawing in this sketchbook, I think, so far. I have a few more pages left in this sketchbook and I could uh, evaluate it at that point, but I think I like this drawing the most. Anyways, thank you for joining me uh, on week 26 of this Drawing Every Day for a Year project. I hope you have a great week. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.